is the best food we've had in Malaysia so far. No! So colourful. I'm okay, thank you. I couldn't tell that was fake. There's a bus in the side of this house. That's pretty cool. The thing about Kuala Lumpur is you have these insanely new buildings yeah, and then like lots of quite so old, old run-down, but I, I, I don't know, I, quite, I kind of prefer the run-down ones, they look pretty cool. No, we're nearly at Chinatown, we think. think. That looks like it down there, maybe. The Chinese lanterns. Yeah, just follow the lanterns. Follow the spiders. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. In the corner over here? I'm gonna go in the middle. Sure, I'd, I'd, I'd rather sit up against a wall. Then I can see if people are attacking me. Oh, you're so excited. Wow. So we okay. made it to Chinatown. So and Tilly's hand picked this restaurant. It's the only thing we ever end up researching, or the only thing she ended up researching. So I chose this restaurant because um, they make they, they, yeah, they make their own noodles and it's just looks so good. And they make their own dumplings and like. And they have a ramen, which I really want to try. And apparently this sauce is amazing with it. Look. What is that sauce? That's chili. chili. Yeah. Apparently it's so good. You mix it in with the ramen, it's really spicy. If you haven't had to tell already from our videos, Malaysia is all about the food. Yeah. Or does Chili just make like everywhere that. we go all about the food? No, no. You sure? You tell me. Oh, someone's getting sassy. Hey, I'm hungry. The menu is uh, you scan a QR code. It doesn't feel like that kind of place, but... He's pointing at us, or is he pointing, he's pointing at this? I thought the giver's pointing at me, he's pointing at the beef ramen on the wall. I was like, morning! We got a little dumpling starter. We're going for lamb and beef. Oh. This spicy sauce. Chopsticks. For the chopsticks. Mm. What's the verdict? Nice to have some dumplings with like different meat. Oh, oh wow. Ramen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So that's the ramen. Thank, Thank you. you. So this is the ramen that you're meant to add this to, but only a small amount. And I, I'm going to do it because Eddie loves to uh, put too much Eddie sauce in. Like this. And this stuff is really hot apparently. Tilly's very precious about how food is consumed. I like to live dangerously. Live life on the edge. So good. What was that one, do you think? I literally don't even know. They're better than the ones in Jalanor. Do you think? Jalanor. Jalanor? Jalanor. 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 Why do you think they're better? If you missed our video on Jalanor, watch that after this. Classic. Why do you think they're better? into this which just is delicious all the noodles are different sizes because they're all hand pulled they were so good i just couldn't stop putting them in my mouth and they're all gone in like under a minute i've eaten all of them how many have you even had like two i think i had two and they gave us 12. so should we order some more definitely we get three i think this is the best food we've had in malaysia so far it's really good it feels really fresh it feels what I mean, it feels like. But look at that mouthful there, that is popped in. That's chicken, noodles, spring onions, spring onions, some sort of lots and lots of herbs. Herby, sprouty stuff. Get it all in there, worm mouth. This place is delicious. We moved to Malaysia. This whole bowl, guess how much this was then? Seven ringgit. No. 20 ringgit. 12. 12 ringgit, two pounds. $2.39.4. Two Flick a bit of pure chilli into my genuine eyeball. And it's the spiciest. Oh my God. Uh, go wash it out with me in the bathroom. Let me tell you ah. It's this. He just flicked this in there. I'm not going to let it stop me eating my noodles. Though. I don't know. I need it like a fucking pirate instead. Bang, yeah. bang, on it. My 
by water. Yeah. Also, it looked like a dumpling when you put it in. I don't understand where all the dumplings are. Do we all? We've got a four more, four set of dumplings. We got a bit carried away in there, I think. No, I need the dumplings. Egg and chive ones this time. We've mixed it up a bit. These are honestly the best dumplings I've ever had in my life. I love this place. It's the best restaurant in the world. Yeah. Shout out Malaysia. Oh wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, Free noodle refill. Free noodle refill. So we were going to order another ramen. We don't need to. Because also, we didn't get loads of meat anyway. It's just broth. It's so nice. This is the best place ever. Oh, thank you. Terry McCassie. And he must be like, what is going on here? Free refills, I mean. It's like Nando's, better Nando's. The amount of chili that we're getting is insane. Amazing, we love it. Honestly, it was like the best food we've had <laughs> so far in Malaysia. It was so good. We've eaten too much, I mean. Yeah. Where's the pepper now, Bob? Oh, the, no. The, one, the blue one. 15. Oh no. That one? The other one over there, yeah. Uh, can you pay for it or just uh, still cash on it? Ah, do we have yeah. enough? 61. 61. Is this your restaurant? Uh, yeah. Wow. How long is how long has it been open? It's about 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Calzone. Yeah. 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 We have four rings left. Alright, thank you. Thank okay. you, Terry Cassie. Yeah. Bye. So that, thank you. Wow, so this is where, this is where the magic This happens. is where the noodle magic happens. You can see the dumplings in there. They obviously boil them first. Hello. <laughs> they obviously boil them first in there. Hello. And then fry them. Oh, that's the chive and egg mix. Wow. Yum. Dumplings, and then that's the scallion pancake. Yes. Uh -huh. And Ed's is out here looking like a very cool dude. Right, where to now? Uh, into Chinatown to explore more of Chinatown. <laughs> I'm full and happy. You like durian? I, you know what? When it's fresh, I don't actually mind it a little bit. But when it's in that sauce or like loads of it, I do agree with that. You gotta pluck it straight out the fruit, yeah. straight out the ground. It smells good. What's that? I know. I've eaten enough food to last a lifetime. Yeah, so what a lot of people don't know about Kuala Lumpur, it was actually founded in 1857 when a group of 87 Chinese tin miners came here. Wow. And set up on the river by Ampung. So it was basically, despite being in Malaysia, founded by Chinese. Wow. And this is these, these artworks here on the wall depict the early Chinese immigrants. And the city has come a long way since then. Yeah. Wow, look at that juxtaposition. It is a juxtaposition, isn't it? Such nice buildings, so colourful. I know, I like it. All of Malaysia is really colourful. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the Philippines a bit in that way. A hero. This is this sitting lady. A famous sitting lady, what's she doing? <laughs> Oh. Sorry guys, I worked out this morning. Whoa, till he goes to the gym. Wow, so nice. We're now on another art street, which I think it might be the main one. There's actually people here rather than the one we were just at. This is more like modern art. Into the dragon. Wow, look, this is one of the most, the oldest lampposts. In it's Kuala bamboo Lumpur. one. No, this. Really? Well, that's not a lamp. No. 
almost has a lamp on it. Oh, someone knows what lamp posts are. It's hard now playing an instrument. Yeah, what are you doing? You're like you're conducting an orchestra. Now, what is he playing? What even is that? That's what I was playing. This is like a, it's like an old dentist's chair or something. Oh no, it's an old barber. Look, he's oh, sitting there and he cuts your hair. Oh. I go to the bed now. In a food coma. Kids have a little skip rope. It's like 3D. It's reminds me of that theme park in Japan. Remember that? I get up there. Three, two, one. In landscape and portrait. Oh, yeah. They're getting the professional service. A little boy is not down for it. Okay. 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 Thank you, Ara. You can't go to the This is the Chinese. Yeah. This is the Oh, you can't actually play. No, no, okay, not they Oh, they're, they're stuck in place. Yeah. I was gonna ask you to play how to play. It looks very complicated. <laughs> you can teach me, but if they don't know. Antio. Ah. Patai. Patai. Pepan. Pepan. Bahong. Bahong. Sai Hong. Sai Hong. Lam Hong. Lam Hong. Otong. Otong. Kao So. Kao So. Say again. Thank you. Bye bye. I think also because it's Chinese New Year, I feel like it's a bit more vibey. Do yeah. you agree? Yeah, I do agree. Who's real and who's the statue? Right, we're now at Jalan Petaling or Petaling Street, which is well known for its counterfeit That's goods. Cool. We've got some fake football shirts here. We've got some nice shoes. A crying kids. Some weird letters. Fake watches over there. Fake props. These are like good fakes to be fair. Oh my god, they've got a messy, a messy crop sticker. You can wear messy the whole I time. Need the colours as well. I'll get you a Prada bag here. I want my Prada bag from here. You sure? I'll get you one if it's from here. This one? No. This one? This one. Oh god, alright. I find you coming in here was a mistake. Everything in here is 650. All these trousers, all these shorts, everything is 650, which is about one pound. This is the only way I can. Oh my god, they got vintage football shirts over there. Oh, that's actually quite cool. What are you looking for? Ed, I don't know until I see it, okay? Hello. Can we go now? Ooh. Tilly has no patience in all other aspects of life, but in these shops, she seems to have all the patience in the world. I can spend hours in here. I was in the corner like... Ow. Ow. What's everyone's opinion on Tilly's new jacket? You're kind of like a pilot or something. Why is there such shoes? Try a few. Because if we share it, I feel like that's better. It's kind of cool, you know. That looks so nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really nice. Right, we've made it out of that shop. About 
three days later. I'm very sure we've missed our flight out of it. Uh, we bought one jacket for two pounds. We're gonna share. I'm having it. No. I'm okay, thank you. And now we're back in the uh yeah. Oh, sorry. Look, I was very shocked. I think some of these are quite decent fakes. And they'll probably fall apart in like not very long. But I'm not talking about the design and stuff, but some of the shoes and uh. Are these like. Oh, you couldn't tell that was fake, could you? Not from a no, glance. No, but I mean like. No, surely just another shoe. Yeah. We buy the United shirts and burn them. Sorry. I've stepped on a woman's foot. I'm okay, thank you though. Gentlemen, have a look. A bit of copy and paste vibes going on there. Like literal copy and paste shots, but then the same ones after each other as well. It's a rotation of trainer, watch, designer, and then real, real random touristy Kuala Lumpur, I heart Kuala Lumpur shirts and fridge magnets. Tilly's taking a blow. You good? This place is long, like literally. I don't like it. It's like, it's weird. It feels like we're going for this, like living in the Truman show in here. Right, we've made it out of Petaling Street, which I'm not gonna lie, was a bit of a disappointment. Tilly, your thoughts on it? Don't go there. Don't go there unless you're willing, willing, wanting to start like a import cash and carry fake goods business. No, don't, yeah, don't go there. We'd we'll not recommend. Now we're going to the central market, which I've heard is apparently full of a lot more authentic products, but let's see. Only time will tell. Oh, look here. One of the earliest streets in Kuala Lumpur. Used to be a timber street. Not anymore. This is the flag of Kuala Lumpur, which you see all over town. And that's the flag of Malaysia, in case you didn't already know. Oh, there you hit, hit someone else. Let's enter the central market constructed in 1888 to provide food, drinks, supplies and items for the Chinese tin mining community. There's aircon in here. Why didn't we come here earlier? I don't know, but there's lots of tins in here like us. Oh no. This is aircon. I think this place has changed a lot since 1888. I, yeah. Feels quite, uh, like feels quite fancy in here. We were going straight home. I'd like to buy some stuff. Well, we ain't. And my wife did it. You and your wife? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, so how do you do it? Yes. Do you dye it? No. Sewing only. Sewing wood. Sewing, okay. Yeah. You like so you it? buy the material, yeah. But it's Malaysian material. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's cool. I like it. You want it? Yeah. Thank you. How much is it? Ten. So cool that you and your wife yeah. make them. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. How long I have know, you like been the, doing I like it? The times yeah. As well. I know. Uh, Twenty minutes for. To make one. one. Yeah. And how long have you been doing the business? Uh, around two years. Wow. Just, two years. Ah. Just new. <laughs> yeah. Do you have like an um, Instagram? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, you can. You can see. Ah, oh, cool. This, this is, is the brand. Yeah. Inabe. Inabe. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, amazing. Thank you. Terry McCassie, <laughs> bye. All right, we're back out the central market, which I don't know what it was like to be honest, as I was sitting down because I'm done with shopping now. Tilly, however, is not done with shopping. We came back. 
Hello, we came back. Yeah, she, she couldn't stop yeah, thinking about the ring. I think it's too small. Oh, oh no. Any, any more That's the only one I too small? Yeah, too small. Let's go. Yeah, Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Terry and Happy now. Happy now. Good job there's another ring shop just here. Oh my god. All right, we've come to Independence Square, the central square in Kuala Lumpur to end today's video. And I know what you're thinking, what is a cricket pitch doing in the middle of a town square? What is it doing here? What is it doing here, asked Tilly. It? Uh, it was built by an Englishman, because obviously Malaysia was ruled by England for many years. And then on the 31st of August at midnight in 1957, the Union Jack was taken down in this square and in place of it was put the Malaysian flag. And from that day on, Malaysia had its independence and a huge crowd came to see this flag we put up. Which has been flying ever since that day. Good. That ends our day. Where Sorry, are you? You're over there. I'm looking at everyone taking selfies, it's very entertaining. And our time in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the day and Kuala Lumpur in general? Tilzoid, I thought the lunch was the junior. best I've ever had in my life. In Chinatown. So good. God, it was amazing. Chinatown, I thought art, 9 out of 10. Food, 10 out of 10. Oh, Markets, 4 out of 10. And the markets were The central great. market, like, I was expecting more of a souk. The counterfeit market, I mean, it was a counterfeit market. Whatever, it is what it is. Not my kind of thing. But yeah, Kuala Lumpur in general has been uh, very interesting, but... I'm excited to see a bit more of Malaysia. Yeah, it feels like this is just the beginning. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you next week from another part of Malaysia. Bye.